Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of White Oak Swamp, located in Henrico County, Virginia, on June 30th, 1862. The repercussions of the Union loss could be felt through the entire Union Army. General Stonewall Jackson pushed hard with his 20,000 Confederate soldiers pursuing the Union down to White Oak Bridge Road and into White Oak Swamp. At the head of his pursuit was Colonel Stapleton Crutchfield, the Chief Artillery Officer for the Confederate Army. Their march was slower than Jackson wanted, however. They had in tow thousands of Union prisoners who slowed their pursuit drastically. This slowed them down so much that they found a single bridge over the swamp had been destroyed two hours earlier. Realizing he would have to rebuild the bridge, Stonewall ordered Crutchfield to set up his artillery batteries to fire from a ridge behind him. This ridge had a view of the Union forces on the other side about 300 yards away. At 2 p.m., the Confederate artillery erupted in fire, surprising the Union troops and destroying the Union artillery emplacements. During this time, Jackson had ordered his engineers to rebuild the bridge, which they had become fairly adept at by now. While this happened, Jackson ordered Colonel Thomas T. Munford's 2nd Virginia Cavalry to cross the swamp. Jackson had seen that some of the Union artillery positions had been abandoned and he wanted the guns captured. For reasons unknown, General Jackson and D.H. Hill decided to personally perform recon actions ahead of their troops. The Union spotted them and began firing the remaining artillery, landing an artillery shell near the generals, barely missing them. However, the advantage of the recon mission was that Jackson got to see what the Union was doing personally. He noted the Union troops were returning and reinforcing the area, they were placing sharpshooters at vulnerable points, and Jackson realized he could not engage in heavy fighting with the Union in a reinforced position like they were while his own men were exposed on the bridge. Fortunately for Jackson, Colonel Munford reported back that he had found a place that could cross the swamp about a half mile down the area. However, only the infantry could cross. Jackson would lose the ability to move his artillery into the same area. Jackson had decided this was not an engagement he could win and withdrew his infantry and let his artillery duel with the Union artillery while the Battle of Glendale occurred in the distance. It is unknown why Jackson did not inform Robert E. Lee of the situation. The total casualties were limited primarily to the artillery duel. For the Union, the losses were approximately 100 men, but no exact record was kept. Meanwhile, the Confederates lost 15 soldiers, including 3 killed, 12 wounded. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.